Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be setting up a Minecraft server uh, running on Ubuntu 22.04. This is going to be for a few friends, so uh, it does not need to be super highly available. Although I am doing a few things to uh, ensure higher uptime of the server. Um, not only is this running on my highly available Proxmox cluster with Ceph storage, but I'm also going to add this to a high availability Proxmox group, um, which automatically migrates the VM um, if a server is having issues or if a server goes offline automatically fires it back up on another host just for that added redundancy um, and reliability to the um, virtual machine. So the name, this is going to be 24 Minecraft. I'm giving it the resource pool of BN. VM ID is 140. We're going to go over here to OS. Uh, we're going to switch this to local ISO. And actually, let's give it a 24.04 um, image just for fun. And we're going to switch this over to Q35. Um, and for storage, we're going to give it probably, it's going to be weird. Let's give it 96 gigs of storage. Over here on CPU, we're actually going to give this six cores. And for memory, we're going to do 16384 megabytes, uh, which is actually 16 gigabytes of RAM. Over here on the network side of things, um, I believe I'm going to want to put this on VLAN 933, although I'm going to actually pull this up on Unified just to make sure this is correct. So I'm going to actually put this on VLAN 934, which is another router entirely with its own separate public IP address. If we go over here to confirm, we're going to click finish. And, um, and then that's going to add it over here on the side and we should be able to hit start and it's going to fire up the virtual machine and get everything ready to go for the Ubuntu installer. I'm going to speed run the installer. I'm just showing you kind of just the highlights of everything you need to know about the Ubuntu installer if you're setting this up for yourself. Um, but then we will proceed to setting up the actual Minecraft server and run through this right here. All right, so on the installer here, we're going to select English. Yes, yes, we're going to give it the full Ubuntu server. I'm going to actually take a note of this IP address right here because this is going to be important for me later when I'm SSHing into the virtual machine. Um, so I'm going to write that down, and then we're going to move on. We're going to click Done, and it's going to ask for a proxy server, which you don't have. I don't know if anyone ever has that, so I'm not sure why they even have that on the installer at this point. Um, it's going to test the mirror, and it's going to tell us that the mirror has passed the test. We're going to scroll down here to Storage and go all the way back up here to the mount point of, like, Slash, the root mount and go down to edit and then we're going to actually give this the full amount of storage if you didn't know ubuntu actually does not pre-allocate all of your storage anymore for whatever reason i'm not sure why i've not found a good answer online so you have to go through and resize your default root volume um, to give it the full storage that you want to allot to that that's just something to note yes we're going to confirm destructive action um, our name is beam networks and the server is going to be 24-minecraft username of beam networks password that we want to give it we're going to skip ubuntu pro space to install open ssh server done um tab and then done so that is the whole ubuntu installer now we are going to move on once the vm boots we're going to ssh into it i'm going to change a few things we're going to get java installed and get the server fired up all right so now we're going to re reboot the server Okay, so now that we are logged into our server, the first thing we're going to do is run sudo space vi sudo. And this command, once we enter in our password, uh, we're going to enter some text in here. And it's going to make it so that way you don't actually have to enter a password ever again once you're logged in. I like this. It's what a lot of cloud VMs do. And it just kind of makes it easier for me, at least, because I don't have to continue to re-enter in my password. Obviously, it's less secure, especially if you're doing sudo activities. But... Um, for what I'm doing, it's totally fine for this to not have to have a password requirement on it um, for every sudo action that I do. Okay, so now that we have done that, I'm going to run sudo apt update dash y and and sudo apt upgrade dash y. It's going to update our VM and get it kind of ready to go for the installation. Um, from now on, everything you're going to hear me talk about is from this guide from DigitalOcean. I'll actually pull it up here. Um, you'll see... Um, it's how to make a Minecraft server. It's updated March 21st, 2024, um, and this is using Ubuntu 22.04, but that's the latest version they have, so it's going to work for what we're doing today. Obviously, it's not ideal since we're using Ubuntu 24.04, um, but like for the purposes of this video, it should be totally fine. I'm going to drag this to the other desktop over there on the side. That way, we can just copy these and go back and forth. All right, so now that it's done updating, we're going to paste in the apt add repository command. It's going to add the repository for um, what is this OpenJDK, which is Java. It's going to add the Java repository. If we go back over here, it's going to want us to update our repositories again. Um, and then it's then we need to install uh, Java 17. So let's go here. We're going to update our package list again. Now that we've added a new repository, it's going to go through that new repository and grab everything, all the packages that it's got available. Now if we paste this in, we should be able to install um, Java. The next thing we're going to do 
is uh, we're gonna install screen but I happen to know that's already installed um, same for UFW so um, just so you know if you're using kind of another version of Ubuntu if you do like the minimal installation there's a chance that it does not install screen by default screen is what we'll use later on to run the server kind of in a virtual like desktop kind of thing but through a terminal um, that's what screen that's what screen does so you might want to install screen um, I just happen to know it's already installed on my VM um, and then UFW, that's only if you're using a firewall in your VM, which in my case I'm not. Uh, you probably should be, but um, UFW is kind of out of the scope of this video. So next, what we're going to do is download the latest version of Minecraft, a Minecraft server here. So we're going to download 1.21.jar, copy this link over here, and we're going to go paste this in here in a second. Although let's check our guide, it's just wanting us to use wget right there. Okay, that's not an issue. Actually, we can open this up in a new window here. I'm going to do this on the side. You are able to do this while it's updating because this is using wget, it's not using apt. You can't install multiple packages at once um, through apt, um, but you can, in fact, do other things on the VM while it's doing updates. So we just downloaded the server.jar file, and we're going to move this over to um, the version number. So we're going to move um, server.jar to um, Minecraft server, whatever version we're running. Um, in this case, it's 1.21, I think, if I remember correctly. 1.21.jar, not 32, 21.jar, there we go. And then um, back over here, we'll pull up a screen here soon, and we will just run the server. So there's a few more things we have to do with the like end user license agreement and that kind of thing. But beyond that, we're pretty much there. We need to wait for Java to install completely, um, and then we'll go from there. Kind of once it's done, we'll move on to the next step and continue the installation. All right, so... I've got Java installed. Everything is ready to rock and roll here. We've got uh, the Java command written out here. And actually, I'm going to make a few changes here uh, just so you can kind of see what I'm changing. So I'm going to kind of modify this command here a little bit. We're actually going to give this a maximum of 14 gigs of RAM. Um, and it's going to start with 2 gigs of RAM. Um, so it can actually automatically use more RAM if it needs to. It's just setting kind of a cap limit. Um, and if we run this, it's going to say, oh, no. Um, there's a Java runtime error, um, but I believe the cause of this okay so one thing I do want to note here is actually um, as you can see it failed when I ran this Java command I've done a few things here I've made some changes I'm actually going to uninstall OpenJDK 17 and I'm installing version 21. Um, I will correct it in the screen earlier on in this tutorial, but this should fix our issue with Java. It should let us run it. As you can see there, it is letting us run the um, Minecraft server now. Uh, the issue was that the Minecraft version I'm using now, version 1.21, um, actually requires Java 21, or it's something like that. There's a requirement, minimum requirement. And the DigitalOcean was using one version 1.18 of Minecraft, and that required Java minimum of 17. So um, that's kind of just a, an outdated guide here that I'm using. But like I said, I'll update it on the screen. Um, now it says fail to load eula.txt. So now we're going to edit eula.txt and we're going to say true. It's accepting the um, end user license agreement. Now if we go back in and we rerun this command, we should be able to get it fired up and running. But one thing I do want to do before we run it is actually edit our server.properties file. So this is essentially all of the settings for your Minecraft world. That you want and you can change these based on the game that you're playing or whatever you're doing with you and your friends you can adjust it to make it fit what you're trying to do um, if you're making it a creative mode server survival mode etc you can do all that stuff in the server.properties file so when you're ready to run your server what you're going to do is run the command screen and it's going to actually put you in this new terminal it's going to look the same um, but it's actually a new terminal so i'm going to go back up here and grab our server command so i can run the minecraft server I'm going to grab this Java command right here and paste this in. So if I run this, you'll see that it's starting the server. Actually, I'm going to do Command-C. I don't want to start it yet. Or sorry, Control-C. Um, but within the screen, what you can do is you can do Control-A and D on your keyboard. And it actually closes you out of the screen. And what you can do, and it leaves the command running. So what you can do then is go back in on this. You can do Screen-R and Enter. And you're right back where you were in that terminal. So this is how you're going to run Minecraft. You're going to run it. With this command running, it's going to leave everything um, up and working. If you go back in the screen, you can kind of just see everything that's going on. Um, but it's kind of a useful tool. That way you can still see the Minecraft logs while the server runs. That's how we'd run it. And that's about all for this tutorial. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. Um, I apologize for that error. Like I said, I fixed it on the screen. Hopefully that fixed it for you as well. Um, have a great day. I will see you guys in the next video.